Hello, uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to publish a form to InfoPath if it has not already been published to SharePoint. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we'll come with the form already open up here in Design, uh, InfoPath Designer. We're going to come to the File tab, we'll come down to the Publish section, and then we'll click on SharePoint Server. Once we click on SharePoint Server, then it's going to go ahead and ask us for the URL of our actual site. So in this case, I'll delete out some trailing information that's in there, but there's the uh, the site URL, just a reminder that this is case sensitive. We'll go ahead and I'll click on next here. Now notice I do have the option to make that a form library, a site content type, or an administrator approved template. Um, if you're interested in the bottom two choices, I'd encourage you to research a little more before you do it, but the site content type can allow for a lot of good uh, features as well as reusability. So I'll click on next. I'm going to choose a form library here. Once I click on next, for me. Um, it's going to go ahead here and, and query the uh, site to find out what's out there already. Um, I'm going to create a brand new form library here and I'm just going to call this one Expense Report. Oops. Once I name it Expense Report here I can enter in a description such as Expenses and then I'll go ahead and click on next. Once I'm clicking on next here, what's happening is it's actually publishing it out um, and creating that library for me. Now this is where I can choose which columns I want to have available. So I'm going to make the name column available inside of SharePoint. I'm also going to go ahead and um, create the, uh, we're going to bring in the, the total from the expense portion. It's here, manager. We can bring the manager's name in. We could st filter those by manager's name if we wanted to do that. Oh, it looks like I got two names in there. I'll remove one of those out of the way. Um, and again, you could go ahead and choose any of these columns, for instance, such as total. So we'll bring name manager and total in there uh, for us. We'll click on next here, and I'll choose to publish it. Now, when I choose to publish it, what's doing in this case is it's going out and publishing it out to SharePoint. Um, it's also creating that template. Uh, so when the user clicks on new documents or goes up to the library tab and clicks on new document they will see this template open up. I am running the Enterprise Edition so therefore uh, it will open up in the browser. If you were not running the Enterprise Edition what would happen is it would go and try and find the local copy of InfoPath Filler. Uh, so you can use InfoPath with the filler portion of it. So what we see right now is we have our expense report. I'm going to go ahead and just click on new document here. Once I click on new document, notice there's my InfoPath form that's creating for me. Um, so next piece that we need to look at doing here is we need to talk about the idea for submitting it. So if I go ahead and uh, type in an email address here, that's the only field that's required on my actual form. And when I click on submit, you'll notice that we're getting an error message for us. Um, so what we need to do is we actually need to fix that error message. So what we'll do in this case is we're going to go ahead and open our form back up in InfoPath for us, and we're going to choose to put in our um, put in our own uh, submit button here for us. So I'm going to come up here to the Home tab, come over here to the Button portion, insert in that button. I'm going to right click on it and come to Button Properties. I will choose to make it Submit. We'll just leave it as the default label Submit. We'll choose the Submit Options here. Now notice I am going to choose the SharePoint Document Library and then I will click on Add to add my own connection. Now the SharePoint Document Library we're using in this case is the HTTP colon slash slash SP2013 um, and then it's the Expense Report um, one that's on there. You don't have to delete out the ending but I always like to delete out the trailing information so that way I can make sure I have the accurate URL of the library. Now I'm going to come in here and set the file name for it. Um, typically form is not adequate enough so I'll just come in and choose to insert in the function. We'll choose concatenate, that works pretty good. We'll bring it in here, we'll maybe choose the employee name. We'll also come in here and put in um, perhaps the, uh, the amount and then the last thing here, I'm going to delete out that last portion. I'm going to put in the now function. The now function is just going to bring in the date and time for that. So I'll come up here, choose now, click on OK. So the file name will be name, total, and now. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and put some uh, spaces and hyphens in there. Um, it's going to allow for a user to better see the uh, 
actual information. So I'm just putting in hyphens in there. If you've ever done concatenate in Excel before, um, or Access, or any other program for that matter, you're probably quite familiar with the format as well as the quotes that are there. I'll click on Verify Formula, no error messages. Click on OK. We'll click on Next here. And what you're noticing happening is right now it is going out and establishing that data connection. So there's the data connection name. Click on Finish for me. There we go. I can click on uh, uh, OK in this case. Oh, it looks like I got an extra ampersand in there. Not sure how that happened, but I'll just click on OK. OK, and now I have that created for me. I'm going to choose to quick publish that out to SharePoint. Um, once I quick publish it out, it is uh, overwriting the existing template that's out there. And now here comes the time for us to test it. So as soon as it comes back and goes ahead and says that it's publishing it out, I'm going to choose OK. I'll come back out to um, Internet here for myself. I'm going to just refresh my site contents to get to the expense report library. There it is. We'll open up our expense report library. I'll click on New Document. You'll notice that the Submit button is down below. I'll go ahead and leave the, the date alone here for me. I'm going to just come in here and, and put a name for it. We'll put in a manager's name. Put in all that information. And again, we could fill that all out. Uh, we'll put in uh, uh, an expense here, entertainment, and we'll just put in an expense of $100 for ourselves. What that's going to do then is give us a total. So once I click on Submit then for myself, you'll notice that I do get a message that says it was successfully completed. I'll just close out of that uh, window here for myself real quickly. And when I come in there, you'll notice there's the form that's created. Now with the button, one of the other features that I would choose to add in is I'd also go ahead and choose to add in to have that form closed as well when a user clicks on that button. Just a minor, minor tweak, but it does get you a chance to publish out to SharePoint as well as set up that submit button also. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, um, and I can certainly try to assist you any way that I can. Thank you.